Hi, today I'm going to go through using your domain name with some of the Synology applications that you can download on your Synology NAS. In this case here I'm going to demonstrate how to use um, notes and not use your port number uh, when you use your own domain name. Now basically what I'm doing is you know I'm going to re going to be redirecting um, Synology notes it also works for office and it will also work for file station um, using a domain name and not using any of the dynamic DNS um, features that you might have available. So the default way that Synology works right out of the box is is using a port as you can see here so notes uses port uses default port 9135 so if you enabled notes on your Synology and opened up your firewall to forward any uh, request to 9135 using your domain name it will then access note station but you know it's a number here some people like to do it cleaner by using keywords like the example below so I'm gonna go through how to use your domain name using a keyword notes to forward it to a port that you designate to access notes so I'm gonna change uh, the port here uh, to a different number and I'll show you how to do that but once again I'm gonna be using a redirect HTML page I won't be using dynamic DNS and I'll be using an a HTML redirect page to when you access notes it redirects to the port number that you defined in Synology so with that let's go to our Synology and define a port so here I'm in my Synology and I already downloaded Note Station. So to change the default port from 9135 to, say, 9888, you want to go into Control Panel, Applications, and as you can see here, I already changed it. This is File Station here. This is the default port for File Station. So the first step is you click on the application that you want to change the port to. In this case, here, Notes. You hit the magic word Edit, and notice and you type in the box here whatever port you want. So I'm going to use HTTPS <clears throat> and the default port for um, Note Station again is 9135 however I changed that to 9888 so you change that and then you hit OK. Notice here that I'm not going to be using alias nor am I going to be using the normal uh, HTTP on the default port. So if you were going to use HTTP on the default port you would just check this and then you can change that um, port too, and then you set up a forwarding rule in your firewall to forward that port also. But in my case here, I'm only going to use an HTTPS connection, and then I'm going to forward to port 9888 back to the Synology station, as you can see here. So we hit the magic OK button, and that's done. Let me hit the X on this. So the next step is you have to go in your firewall now and then forward that port back to you to your Synology station. So in my case here, my firewall, I already did it. I named the rule notes. All right, now this is the outside port, 9,888. All right, going to where? Going to this IP address on what port? This port. So now any request coming to my domain name or outside IP address on 9,888 will then be pushed to 2.7 on the same port of 9,888. So that's what you have to do. So that's been done. <clears throat> now the next step here is you have to provision your web server now to forward or redirect the um, web page. But first, I want to explain a couple ways of doing redirection. All right, so there's a few ways you can redirect your web page. Um, you can just go ahead to the Googles and type in redirect HTML web pages, and uh, you have a whole smattering of um, web pages that come up uh, that you can use. Um, the three ways that could be done is one, you can use your HT access um, page here. Let's see, see, we got an example here on this uh, person here. See, it says tricks. All right, so. This is using a meta tag. Sweet. Alright, so the most preferred 
method, as you can see here, is Apache redirects by using your HTT uh, HT access with uh, redirect um, command in that file. Right, another way you can do it is using um, uh, scripting language such as JavaScript. You can use JavaScript to um, redirect pages. Uh, the downside of using JavaScript is somebody turns off JavaScript on their um, web page, they won't won't be redirected. But there's other other languages you can use: Possibility, Perl, PHP, Ruby. Um, I think this is one of the least preferred methods: is using an HTML meta tag in your HTML uh, file. And this is actually the method that I'm going to use and demonstrate to you. I'm going to use a meta tag um, in my index.html file. So with that, we're going to go to that next. Alright, so I SSH into my um, web server and I went to my document root for my um, test domain here. Um, <clears throat> and now <clears throat> I'm going to create a directory called notes. Alright, so now we have a directory called notes. It's empty. Oh, I need to CD into notes. <laughs> and you can see that is empty. So it's empty. So now we're going to create a file called index.html and put in that meta tag and then direct it to the proper uh, port that we defined in the firewall and also in the in our NAS station back here. All right, let me go back to uh, this. So first step here, I'm going to vi index.html hit the magic enter button, button, hit A to append and I have to find my code here which is right here, I'll just copy it in in a second uh, copy and then paste. Now I'll go through it this is basically me an HTML5 document, the title's notes and um, this is the line that you really um, are concerned with um, here this three second means pause three seconds before refreshing a page and going to port 9888. Now notice here I use HTTPS, you will replace your domain name here, colon, and the port number that you defined in your firewall and then in Synology uh, station. Notice here I just created a little body and said please wait accessing notes. Uh, no big deal. You can put anything else there you want to. Um, if you change this to zero um, it's supposed to, as soon as you hit the page, it's supposed to redirect right away. There's probably like a half a second pause, but in this case here, I want to pause it for three seconds. Uh, so now I'm going to save my um, file, and now we can see it's there. So now the next step here is I'm going to shrink this down. Shrink this down. I am now going to go to my external, external PC that's outside of my network, and I'm going to type in https uh, www.kk4 ah, so let's see if we can access it here and yes we can access it there so let's open a, another page here let's close this one out and now let's see if we can access it https www.k here we have it here. All right, and now let's see if it works. So there we go. There moved. Let's hit advance. Let's accept that bloody thing. Confirm it. Ooh, and now let's see if we can log in. So let's use our fake username and see if we can't access. And obviously, we never want to remember this. Never. Oh, there we go. We were able to access it. No problem. Notice that I typed in notes and the redirect page uh, comes up with 9888. So you don't have to remember port number, you just have to remember slash note. So this will work for Office. So you can do the same thing with Office. You can create a directory. You can create a directory underneath your web root here and office whoops 
if you spell it right, and do the same thing, cd into office, create the indexed HTML, and then do the same thing by redirecting it to the different port on your Synology. Don't forget to always set up your firewall uh, to make sure it port forwards properly. So there you have it. You have using your domain name and not using a dynamic DNS and using a keyword on the end of your domain name to access applications on the Synology. Oh. There you go.